Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is a quick uh, reading for the Pisces blue moon that we're having tonight um, with the sun in Virgo. So let's see what is coming on here right now for the collective. If you're not a subscriber, please tap that button and hit the bell. Personal readings is on the screen now. And let's get started. Let's see, I have four different decks out, plus I'll pull, pull some tarot. The Wild Rose, do it your way. Embrace your uniqueness, untamed. I love it, I love it, I love it. If you didn't watch my Pisces um, Blue Moon reading, please go back and check that out, but do it your way. What is authentic to you? Where do you need to set your boundaries? What do you need to let go of when it comes to your belief systems? Um, that is not yours, you know, embrace your uniqueness. Be you, be you. This is a time to release all the baggage of not um, belonging or being a part of. This is a time for us to really stand up for who we are, come out of the drama, come out of the old hurts, the old belief systems, and really step into this unique version of who you are because whatever that you have is important to the world. So the card comes out and says, if someone says that you're not normal, say thank you. And it says, there's an invitation to do what would make you feel most free, to trust in the very thing that makes you stand out, to realize that you were never meant to fit in. You were never meant to grow in perfect, uh, cultivated way. You were never meant to bloom in unison with someone else. You were never meant to be captive or controlled. Nature is full of diversity, so it's imperative. It's survival, and it is ours too. So be who you came here to be express what you came here to express sing the song that you came here to sing together the wild ones will be the ones who set us all free i free myself of what keeps me captive i allow the unique wildness within me to be free i mean i could just like literally stop the reading right now and it's just what a beautiful card to come out um right at the beginning is just saying yeah what have I been carrying? Who am I? You know, what is deep within me? Um, where have I not been tending to my own garden? Where have I been um, keeping quiet for really what I believe and who I am? That I felt like, you know, people are making fun of me or, you know, they just don't get me. It's, you know, I don't want to be alone. Whatever your story is, it's like, stop. Because this is the time for you to be you. I mean, if you're not you, who is going to be you? And do you even know who that version that came here is? If you're always trying to attend to other people, what they need uh, in order to be liked, to be accepted, to, to be whatever it is, it's time to just knock it off the board and just be like, you know what? Shit, it's me. I'm uh, going to have... Um, this opportunity right now with this blue moon to let go of all the baggage of all the things with six planets retrograde all the things that are coming up everything where did i try to fit in where blah and blah 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 blah, blah. so the next card out is the card of transition i mean it's like it's incredible i'm going directly to the book see astral realms if you haven't seen this deck i love 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 this deck and then the other one was the Rose Oracle. So transition card comes and says, a spiritual transition is a wake-up call from your higher self, urging you to evolve and blossom from what you are to what you will become. This time of spiritual transition can come to you in many forms that may or may not have recognized. You may feel the need to become deeply connected to your inner self and understand your emotions. What did I just say? This is like incredible. You feel a shift in your priorities and beliefs. I mean, you feel a call to trust your intuitive self and receive messages from your guides. You feel or experience some major life changes that have prevented you from transitioning in a new direction. So take some lessons from the moon, how she waxes and waves and her feminine energies. And then it says, you know, really look at those cycles. And this is a time for you to really let go of the old ways and really step into something new during your spiritual transition um calcite will be your compassion so if you have some calcite work with calcite um it is an amplifier of energies and is known to be a stone of development building confidence promoting spiritual growth calcite purifies and clears out negative energies um 
not only from persons, but also from surrounding environments. So again, whatever that you've been absorbing, whatever toxic energies, what we're doing here is that we're claiming right here, do it your way, right? Let go, let go of all the other people's stuff. Just let it go. And I uh, wanted these out so you could see it. Here you go. Let me just put this out and uh, close enough. But anyways, we have transition and we have the wild rose. Let's go ahead and grab one of these cards. This is the sacred spirit. I'm just going to put this on the side. Here you go. All right. So let's see what the sacred spirit card is saying. Uh, during this blue moon, uh, please hit like, please share the video. Um, if you're not a subscriber, subscribe. <laughs> okay, we have lead the way, light your own path. And the other one is timing is critical. The timing is now. The sacred gatekeeper is saying, hey, listen, we've had all these energies, all these portals, all these retrogrades. Now it's time for you to be the light, for you to lead the way, you know, like the stag. The stag is connected to higher self. It is that connection with the spirit realm. And it's coming up and it's saying, hey, you're the one who's going to have to be the light. You know, don't don't engage in other people's darkness. Don't engage in in what other people think that you should be doing. You know, let 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 it all go because we are at such a crucial time right now in awakening, releasing, cleansing, you know, finding our own voice, finding our own authenticity, not for popularity, not for whatever, but because hey, I want to make a difference in this world and I want to make a difference. That means I got to let go of some beliefs. I got to let go of some people. I got to let go of some things that are in my way of my own truth, of me being me and, um, and allowing others to be them, you know, and eventually we part, up, we go in different ways and there's nothing wrong with that. There's many earths happening simultaneously. So lead the way. This card just comes and says you're being encouraged to connect strongly to your base, in, to your base instincts. What does your gut tell you about the situation? Be alert. Currently, personality conflicts are strong, and have the potential to cause emotional distress. You must decide how you choose your approach. Do you need to face this person, or can you remove yourself from the situation peacefully? Like the deer totem, you may need to hold a torch for others to be guided down positive path or in a direction that was previously hidden. It is important to assist others when they do not have a light to guide them. Instinctively, you must learn to accept the changes in life and run peacefully with the flow of the universe. Absolutely, but here's the thing. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make a drink. It just, you, you just can't. So, you know, yeah, that's why, you know, I make videos, you know. Either you get it or you don't get it. Maybe I'll be a little light bulb in that moment. You know, it's uh, it's taken me thousands of videos for me to get it. <laughs> and finally I got it and here I am doing my piece. So this is, the timing is everything. It's crucial right now. Timing matters because even though time is linear and, and it's, you know, but it is on earth. And with this here, it's saying right now you require a clear focus of what is ahead of you. Your timing is critical. While you may have a sense of urgency, it is important not to rush. Think about the issue or circumstance carefully before you act. So yes, that too. Yes, we are to act, but we're not going to act hastily. We're not going to act because we're angry. We're not going to act because our emotions got the best of us. So we're going to throw a tantrum. This is about, hey, wait a minute, let me assess the situation and no, let me, let me look at this and see how am I going to act with peace and poise and what is it that I'm going to do? So it's not like, let me just throw that tantrum and then blah, blah, blah. So ensure you have planned your forward progress. All decision-making needs to be carefully considered before you jump in permanently. Make sure you have all the facts in front of you. So again, this is your divine relationship, a celestial pathway with a higher source. So pay attention to dense or lower energy so you can learn how this interaction affects your personal energy. So you know you want to leave a situation you got to think about how am i going to leave this you know situation what is it that i i'm going to do how am i going to do this to where you know uh it leaves out blame judgment whatever it's just you know again it's frequency you know if we're not vibing 
I'm not going to hear, sit here and convince you of something that you're just not ready for. So, you know, everyone has, and there is no judgment. Everyone has their own thing. So whatever that's that thing, then that's what it is. And then, all right, this one wants to turn on oneness. Oh my God. I mean, these cards are incredible. We have the card of oneness. I'm going through the book with everything because what we're all one. <coughs> Excuse me. You're another version of me. I'm another version of you. All everyone on the outer is a reflection of me. We're all connected. There is no separation. So when we're looking at the interconnection of all that is, we're not separate from, we're just seeing other aspects of ourself and everybody else. But that doesn't mean you're to stay in things because when you have learned the lesson, you are evolving, but you're just recognizing without judgment. Rem and look, remember who you are. When you recall your oneness with divine consciousness, which encompasses and includes all things visible, invisible, known, and unknown, the challenge you're currently experiencing will come into greater perspective and you'll have immediate access to the wisdom and guidance you need to move through it with grace. Make this subtle, powerful shift in your awareness. Remember your infinite identity and the portal of oneness will open up before you. Step into it. You will align with nothing less than all the power, beauty, and magic of the universe. Breathe, feel your feelings, feel your weight on the earth, allow your thoughts to be, then include your awareness to the sky, stars, space, and everything that is around you and recognize all that is. We are all connected. Feel your oneness. And in this space of oneness, listen to the wisdom of all that is. It endlessly sounds within you. It will always heal you and illuminate your path. So we're seeing our connection. We're seeing our connection to the, the trees, to the people, all that we have learned when it's time, when it's crucial time to leave a situation, to leave a relationship, to leave whatever that is for you. Um, whether it's your lover or a family member or a friend, whatever it is. So, and then here we've got, we are lighting the way, we're leading the way uh, because we're owning our own light, owning our light. And then again, going back to transition, and then the wild rose, do it your way. You're in a place of transition, death. Death card, look at that, fool at the bottom. It's a time to let go and not be a fool and stay in stuff in the past and transform your life literally into something new. It's like, go through it, be done, go through it and transform. It's time to become that butterfly. So it's time to put an end and blue moon, end it, end it. I'm surprised that the moon card didn't. Oh, and as I, as I said that, I'm just going to show you. Look at that, the moon card. I'm like, I'm surprised it didn't come up, but okay, I'm going to take it because I was splitting it and it came out. I get so excited. So anyways, this uh, blue moon, it's saying face your fears go through them go through them they're an illusion they're not real your fears are not real stop watching and talking to people that take you into a place of fear stop watching things that bring fear into your life transform the negative energies dive in deep to your emotions allow whatever that's coming up from the past for you to transform to come up because of the retrograde and then step into the new choose the new choose to be a the fool and take a leap of faith into the unknown. Let's get a final message from the universe. And I have sometimes you just feel no one understands you. You're not heard or even that you don't count. This my dear is a terrible illusion. And although your feelings tell you that abandonment is real, well, who loves you? We who love you know better. You're never alone, oneness, and even rejection happens. You're ultimately being protected, so better things can replace that wouldn't have worked in the first place. Everyone on this side of the veil is watching over you and rooting for you. Ultimate success. Life loves you. We love you, and you are a unique spark of the divine and always connected to the light and to the source. You're always in our care. Trust and keep the faith. Love you always and forever the universe. So much love, so much light. Happy full moon. Blue moon. Namaste.